Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain View Homestead. Uh, today we're going to talk about everything that we got to prepare for the alpacas and the cost breakdown. Um, I think we were a little bit surprised on how much overall we spent um, and thought if you were trying to get into alpacas, this is kind of like a video that would show you everything you need before getting them and how much overall it would cost. Right. And it could also like translate into just about any similar type of livestock animal as well. Um, one of the most important things we decided to do this time around was to make sure we were spending our money appropriately because we did understand that we're getting these animals and we want them to be happy and healthy and we didn't want to skimp out on that. We wanted to make sure we were getting the best things um, for them so that you know we could make sure that they were going to be okay. All right, so let's go line by line on what we got and how much we spent. So the first thing, which is the absolute most expensive thing that we bought for the alpacas was the lean to shed. Uh, this ended up costing us $2,700. Um, it's something that we wanted a really good quality and it's the same company we bought the bee shed from and our chicken coop from. So we kind of have a working relationship with this company and we know everything they make. It, it will stand up against anything. For sure. And we've built up a solid reputation and they've been um, very generous in letting us do like payment plans and things like that where normally they don't. Yeah. Uh, the second most expensive were the alpacas and we paid, I think there were $800 each and then since we got them like a kind of like a package deal, it was $100 off. So uh, we spent 1500 on the alpacas. And keep in mind with alpacas and similar animals, you will need to get more than one because they are a herd animal. Yeah, they uh, typically recommend getting three alpacas to start. Um, two is fine, but they say three in case one dies, um, you have a second like already, but we figured, you know, we're close enough to the farm uh, that we got them from that if one were to pass we can easily just get a, another one right if need be yeah. um, but two is fine but three is better right. and the, the farm we got them from is like has been fantastic um, they've even said that you know they'd be more than willing to like help watch the alpacas if they need to or if we need it uh, the next most expensive thing was the watering system. Uh, so you can check out this video, I'll post the link um, here. <laughs> if you're on a mobile device, you can see it. But um, that was about $100. It was about 60 for the trough and 20 for the heating element and 20 for the hose valve. Um, and keep in mind the the trough itself was sixty dollars, but it's typically more expensive. I got it on a Black Friday sale, mm -hmm. so and it's been phenomenal. Um, you have freezing temperatures out there right now, and the water is actually warm. Warm. It's nice. Um, so definitely worth it. And then the next most expensive was the hay. So we bought 15 square bales, which cost us about $90, mm -hmm. and we got that at a local farm. We have not had to use a bale of hay yet because we got the alpacas after all our snow melted and there's still like really good quality grass left. Right. And luckily our lawnmower is I, I need to fix it. Not luckily, but... <laughs> right, well, I mean, it, it worked out because the grass in the field was very tall. Um, and it's apparently great for them to graze on. Yeah. Um, so next would be the shots. Yeah, so with most livestock animals, it's important to keep them vaccinated, dewormed, and things like that. and you always want to make sure you have that medicine in stock. So we actually bought it before we even got the alpacas. We wanted to make sure we were prepared for that. 
um, because the last thing anyone wants is a sick animal. Well, the the shots you have to give them uh, once a month. Right. So you want to. It's better to buy in bulk as well. Um, right. Um, so we got the dewormer, uh, which was the most important one that we were told to get, and it's Dectomax, um, which is an injectable medicine for them that is given monthly. That we got the 200 milliliters, and that at the time was $45. It's gone up in price, actually. Uh, next time we need some, we'll probably go up to the 500 milliliter, which is $100. And that, you know, it's just buying it in bulk. Um, I also got the Dectomax syringe that comes with it. Um, I'm gonna play around with it. it I guess it's supposed to be better for the animals, or it's two dollars. Yeah, and it was only two dollars. Um, I also got bulk syringes, just because it was about ten bucks for like a hundred of them, and so, you know, we could at least give them the shots while I was still trying to figure out the uh, the Dectomax specific syringe thing. The next most expensive was grain, which we got a textured grain, and you can get this. Off Chewy.com actually. Right, so actually our local Southern States has alpaca food as well. Uh, we got this one off Southern States because um, just price and convenience. Um, so. But we probably will use Chewy just because it's auto. Right, yeah, we set up like an auto ship thing so we just don't even have to worry about it. Yeah. Um, but we're not needing to supplement really with grain yet either. Right, at this point it's more of like a treat or if. Um, we need to lure them into the shed to give them the shots. All right, so next, uh, we're just gonna go through everything we got for free. Um, right. So the biggest item we got for free was a shed from our neighbor that blew into our driveway during a storm. And that's what we're using to store all the hay for right now. We were gonna use it for the alpaca shed, to get them out of like the weather, but there is like a step up and we figured they wouldn't. Right, it would just be hard to get them to use it. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more claustrophobic, I guess, than what we did end up buying. Right, and then, um, you know, we were looking into different ways to preserve the hay and all of it was just very expensive. Um, so we figured we would invest in the run-in shed for the alpacas and then just use this one for uh, storing the hay because it was ideal, more ideal for that. Yeah, and we're actually using um, an old door from our kitchen renovation yep. to block them off from getting into the hay because it is within the field and they haven't messed with it, so. It, it's a solid wooden door. It's very heavy, so. Temporary, yep. good solution for free. Yep. Next, uh, we got free harnesses in uh, Leeds. So the original owners gave us those with each alpaca, and um, that was really nice. But I don't think they're too expensive. Um, and then they also gave us the A and D, A E D, A D E, A D E, A D E paste, paste, um, which they said was about ten dollars per tube, and that you would give them about twice a year. Um, and that supplements vitamin D. Right. Oh, you know what? We did buy uh, what they call toe trimmers. Oh, right. Um, to trim their toenails. Yeah, so we bought the toe trimmers, and that was... Those were, I know they were expensive. I think they were $35 for the trimmers and the sheath. Um, and that one I wanted to make sure we splurged on because we visited a, a goat farm where they had mentioned that they bought like the $10, $15 ones and they had to just basically keep buying them. And so I wanted to make sure we bought a nice pair that you know we could just sharpen if we needed to that would just last a lot longer. Yeah, and so they told us based off our um, land that we would probably have to trim their nails twice a year because we have more soft land because uh, we haven't had really any animals like compact the ground I guess. Oh no but it was um, ours is all dirt. The barn they have is on a concrete slab 
so the concrete slab actually oh. files down the nails for them. Okay, well, um, but yeah, our, we'll probably have them trim the nails when we go and take them to get sheared. Um, and then we'd probably have to do it another time, like probably around now next year by right. ourselves. All right, so overall we spent $4,460 to prepare for the alpacas, right. um, which I don't know, were you expecting to spend that much? Um, no. <laughs> and that's why we're doing the video, is right. to kind of prepare anyone who wants to get into it. Um, basically starting from scratch, it's a lot of money. Right. I mean, you could even include the cost of the fence. Um, you could make that argument, just because we wouldn't have been able to get the alpacas without the fence, and they definitely need it. Um, and that would include like the barbed wire, and any security stuff for the fence, the locks, things like that. You could make that argument. Um, but that's going to be different for everyone. We went right. with the six foot fence, Some like you could go with a four foot fence um, if you felt comfortable with it. So, and then how many acres you're um, fencing in also factors in there. Right, and then some people have a property that already has a fence and don't need to worry about it. Yeah, so, so we'll leave the fence out, but yeah. um, basically, you need shelter, you need the medicine, supplement for food in the winter, um, you need a water bucket or a trough, um, trimmers, harness and leads. Um, it is a lot of front cost, but you know you're getting everything and a lot of it will last like the lifetime so you won't need to buy it again. Like we won't need to buy another shed, the hay will probably do once a year. We won't need to get the shears again. The medicine will last a long time. So it, you know, it's it's a lot upfront, but. And actually um, for us, spending our money like now is still saving us money um, having alpacas because they do help us with our land use program right. that we have our house in, um, which saves us money on property taxes. So we have to use our land for agriculture reasons and we're still saving money by spending this much. Yeah. Um, and this will last for years, so. Right. Um, the only other expense we might have for them, and you know we may or may not need it, would be like a trailer uh, right. for transport. Uh, luckily, the farm we got them from was close by, and they had no problem uh, just bringing the alpacas over. Uh, other farms you might have to provide your own transportation um, so just keep that in mind um, and those you could get really cheap used ones or there's very expensive ones uh, so yeah but if you have a van you can also put them in a van right so they just don't have a van big enough for that yet I mean even when we get a van we'll probably not put livestock in it hey you do what you gotta do I, I mean, yeah, I'd probably pull all the seats out or something. You'd have to. Um, but yeah, so we hope if anyone's looking to get into alpacas, like this video is helpful um, to know what to expect. Yeah, I think other than that. Yeah, I mean, the only other thing I would say is do your research on where you were buying your livestock from. Um, there's places you could get alpacas way cheaper, but just the the resource that this farm has given us is invaluable. Um, they have no problem coming over to help if we have questions. They've been very hands-on with teaching and explaining how to do things. So they knitted Owen, this little beanie, and this little poof is actually made from Dolly's fiber. Right. Which is like, I think so cool. It's very cool. Um, but yeah. I mean, this, this farm has been... They've been fantastic. Yeah, we would yeah. definitely probably buy all our alpacas from them if we could, but... All right, so that uh, wraps up the cost breakdown for the uh, alpacas and getting ready for them. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and write them below. Um, but yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. See ya.